is a very nice snout. Very nice snout. Look at that tail. Look at that tail. It was wagging so fast, I thought it might fall off. Never, right? You gonna take good care of mom today? Good care of your brothers? Yeah? Where's Chevy? Where's Chevy? He's that way. That way? I think he's there. Oh yeah, he's there. Sneaky. Chevy. Can you sit? Always oh, a good boy. Say good morning to everybody. They're over here. They're right here. Yeah. Say good morning to him. No? He's not much of a morning guy. Neither am I. <laughs> not a big fan of the immediate first thing in the morning. As soon as I get up and get the blood pumping, get myself woken up, I'm a big fan of mornings. It's just the only thing I have an issue with is the getting out of the warm bed part of the morning. Once I'm out of the bed, it's fine. Sometimes it's a little hard getting past that phase. But the rest of the morning is great. Dan it, Dan it, Dan it, Dan it. Dan it, Dan it, Dan it. Dan it, Dan it, Dan it, Dan it, Dan it. <laughs> that is way too much energy for first thing in the morning, buddy. I am impressed. Three, two. <laughs> I'm gonna get you. I'm fast, man. I'm super fast. How fast? Super fast, man. <laughs> Wouldn't it be nice to have that kind of energy in the morning? Okay, Diesel, I see that you're super fast. Are you done out here, though? Are you done? Did you go? I haven't seen him take a number two yet. Guess Britt will have to take you out before she goes. <laughs> Trying to play quietly. It's time to head out. It's gonna be a little bit of a warmer ride today. Uh, yesterday was four degrees Celsius. Today is eight, so it's twice as warm today. So it should be good. I got some thicker gloves today too, because that was the only problem I had yesterday was my fingers got a little cold, but I know I don't have cruise control on this bike. I know some bikes do, this doesn't have it, so I can't take my hand off that throttle for long to, you know, warm it up or something. So this should help. It's time to go trucking. Biking and then trucking. Didn't have time to finish my whole breakfast. I had a bagel and some toast. I ran out of time. We had to book a door because there's stuff to do. Things to do, people to see, freight to deliver. Bag here. I, I have a lot of stuff. I, I really do, don't I? I'm just loaded down every day, but that's okay. I need it all. Let's load it up in the truck, do our pre-trip, and let's get at it. So I brought this step deck here. I'm not picking up this one, though it looks like it's ready to go. I'm picking up that one. 
that's the whole load there. So we leave them one trailer there so they can load that one. And we take this one.
looks like they're building an apartment building of some sort. And I've got to figure out where they want to unload me. I'm guessing probably around the other side, so I'm going to have to go around the block. <sighs> probably come around on... This is Logan up here, right? I'll probably come this way down Logan, and I saw an entrance just around the corner here. It's probably where they're gonna want me. Downtown, fun, fun times, yes. Yep, that's the entrance. So I've gotta come back around, come down the street, and I'm gonna park on the street right here. They're gonna offload me right on the street. That's a pretty nice building. They're slowly trying to revitalize the downtown area. You can see another building under uh, renovation up there. They're actually doing it pretty quick. They're doing a good job of it. I mean, downtown Winnipeg used to be a real sketchy place to be. It's still kind of but they're taking big steps to change that. Something's going on over there. It wasn't me. They are taking big steps to change uh, Winnipeg's reputation. Believe it or not, Winnipeg has the reputation of murder capital of Canada. <laughs> you want to be careful where you end up at night here. It's not, it's not like, uh, I think if you compare it to like the American cities, like Chicago, we're doing pretty good. I think that we're uh, pretty much heaven compared, but uh, on Canadian standards, Winnipeg has always been known as kind of a dangerous city. But you know, city leaders, like I've said, have been doing a good job. Uh, the Winnipeg Jets Arena is right downtown here now. And that brought in a ton of new businesses and ton of new development and investment. So slowly but surely, we're going to help them out and help them build this new building here. I got to go around the block, though. Okay, let's see how we can get around here. All these streets lead to. That road is closed. I might have to go all the way down to Notre Dame up here. How about this street? Is this street open? Ah, that street's not a front road. Go. 
like a professional. Look at that. Careful unloading from here that they don't push the freight over into traffic over there. So they got a guy on that side watching. They don't want that falling into traffic. We don't got much room to work with here. Look at this truck here. Look at this thing. slowly, very carefully. So far, not one person has honked at me. That guy over there. Someone needs to buy him a belt. Likes to wear his pants really low, and the problem is, I'm pretty sure he's commando. Ugh, I didn't need to see that. There you go. Oh, look, it's a little parade. Little baby tractors. Oh, this is fun. This is fun. Never a dull moment in downtown Winnipeg, I'll tell you what. I guess I can roll my straps up now. We'll have to come back here again. You know, it's an excuse to go for a ride on the motorcycle. You're right, I know, I can't stop talking about it. I don't care if it's annoying, what? But it's a ride to go, uh, it's an excuse to go for a ride or a ride to go for an excuse, as I was gonna say. To come see this building once it's finished and then we can say, hey, we had a hand in that. I mean, I didn't actually do anything. I just, I just brought that stuff from over there to here, but hey, Without me, this building could not have been built. Just saying. Kind of a big deal. Oh, oh that was fun. After I was done downtown there, they sent me to pick up uh, a triaxle load of steel nearby. Oh, look, this is still here. This is what I used as a, a stand. Is that my, uh, for underneath my stand on my bike yesterday? Yeah. There. I bought a proper sand. I showed you it, right? Ah, so I'm gonna get all my stuff ready here. The triaxle load was uh, about 63,000 pounds that we put on the trailer. That was heavy. It's going all the way into Ontario. Uh, what's the town called again? Somewhere in southern Ontario. There's a highway driver coming to pick it up tomorrow morning. But other than that, we had a good day. The highlight was going downtown though. That was actually pretty easy though compared to that triaxle load. The triaxle load was a little tricky, but meh, I didn't bother uh, filming anything there because we got quite a bit of footage today already. And I'm trying to keep my videos a little shorter so that they're not huge feature presentations for you every single day. Sometimes they will be, but not every day. The best part of the day. 
right where I left her. See, this is the uh, the pad I got, and uh, Bill, yard Bill, saw that it was on the gravel here, and this is freshly laid gravel. So he went and put a, a little uh, two by six underneath there, yet just to be sure. That was nice of him. Whew. Tired today. Not too tired, but yeah, it was a bit of a tough day at work. Well, I haven't been sleeping good the last couple of days, so I think I'm going to sleep good tonight. Thanks for watching today, everybody. The ride home was perfect. It was beautiful. Not too hot, not too cool, and that breeze felt perfect. The bike ran perfect. There was hardly any traffic because I worked late. Oh. It's a lot of fun. Did I have toothpaste on my face? Just brush my teeth. I always get toothpaste in my beard. Britt is just taking the dogs outside for their evening stroll around the yard. <laughs> and I'm getting ready for bed. Thanks for hanging out with me today, guys. Let's do it again tomorrow. All right, if you did like the video, hit the thumbs up button. Hit the subscribe button so you can follow my life. I make daily videos, or mostly daily. Uh, I'm a busy guy, too. Uh, work some long hours, so I can't always get the video edited every day. But I try to get them to you as soon as I can. Uh, do my best. Hope you're all having a great day. Let me know what the highlight of your day was down below in the description so I know you made it to the end. I'll see you tomorrow.